All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Xavia, and I'm back at y'all with another video. As y'all can see, I got my hookah going on. I got my wine going on, y'all. It is a Sunday. I didn't do no, um, <laughs> I didn't do Sunday reset, y'all, because I just feel like, I don't know, y'all. I've been so drained. So, this is what a life update video a update video or whatnot but y'all i've been i don't even know if the word is drained i don't even know what to call it but y'all i've been so i don't even know i don't even know the word of what i've been you know what i'm saying it's just like after my birthday my whole everything just turned you know what i'm saying and not in a bad way it just i felt like being to myself and i felt so moody and it's like y'all it's not even my period it's not even nobody. It's not like, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I was just, I'm still kind of is. And I was just like so moody and emotional. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> a lot of people saying that too. No, I'm not pregnant. And a lot of people, I guess they see me gaining weight. I'm telling y'all, I don't know. I've been eating. Y'all, I'm not pregnant. I can't be. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pregnant. It's not my period. I've just been eating and moody oh look at tell my face fat. look at my little belly y'all look at the belly look at the like i i don't know what's going on i just been eating 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 i have i still have been enjoying life and stuff like that but it's just like y'all i don't if y'all tell y'all help y'all know everything y'all <laughs> y'all help me out but y'all i've been like so moody i've been hungry i've been just like I don't, I honestly don't know the word for it, but I'm here with y'all today. <laughs> um, y'all, so earlier today, I took my kids out to breakfast. I'm gonna insert that clip. Okay, y'all, our food is out. She got her, what is that, Z? Waffles and Oreo. And you got bacon and eggs. Y'all, I got strawberry banana waffles. I got a chicken fajita. Omelette and Papa has some French toast sticks. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> Papa, is you cool? You trying to do it? Yes, sir. Yeah, is he cool? <laughs> Papa, open your eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes, Papa. <laughs> he played too. Y'all get that shit from y'all, did y'all play too much? Thank you. Are you changing anything else, Um, what's your big girl for now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now I am on apple juice. Okay. And I took Z to get some shoes, y'all. Z is in a size three, y'all. When she was just on her birthday, she was she she was just in a two, a two. Now in the uh, last week when she was getting ready for school, I'm like, put on your shoes. She's like, these shoes hurt. Put on, okay, put on some more shoes. These shoes hurt. Like y'all, all her shoes hurt her feet. How? You just could fit these shoes a week ago. But let me show y'all the shoes. Me and her dad bought her. I bought her a pair. Her dad bought her a pair. I bought her a pair, a school pair, because she she's bad on shoes, but what kid is it? So I just got her these black and white um, shoes for school. And call it a day, okay? So she's got, these are cute, though. She's got these black and white Nikes for school. Some comfortable and some she can tear up, okay? These were number like, what, $50, $60? Okay, and Darnell had got her. Darnell had got her these shoes, and these are so cute. And these, these, these um, represent Z so bad. Like y'all know Z love weird stuff. These represent Z so bad, y'all. These are so cool. Like Z's a cool kid. She's a dope kid. She's outgoing. These are her. You know, these are Z. These are so cute and fly. Like, these are her. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to go to the Nike store 
and maybe get her a little jogging suit or something. Some chill. Y'all know Z, but yeah, that's what we, that's what I did today. Y'all, uh, I had put in my community, let me see how long ago that was. My YouTube community, if people don't know, people keep on saying, what is that? So, if you go on my YouTube channel, and then it should be a little thing that it say community. It's like where I post stuff, where y'all can post stuff and talk to me. And I had asked y'all, how long ago this was? This was two weeks ago. I was like, um, mukbang, um, topics, or Q&A. Of course, there's not no mukbang, because clearly y'all see I need to stop eating. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do some hookah and do some wine. And I'm just going to answer some questions and talk about some topics. Because y'all y'all gave me a lot <laughs> of stuff on here. So, let's get to it. Let me make sure this hookah is all ready to go. There we go. See, when I do my hookah, I like to see clouds, okay? Um, Caroline, what did it say? Caroline 4023 said, why are you so amazing? This isn't a question, but keep doing you and glowing because it's definitely helping me. Love you, Xavier. I love you too, girl. And I appreciate you. And I thank you for that. I'm glad I'm able to make y'all happy. You get what I'm saying by y'all seeing me happy. Okay. I hope when I'm sad, y'all don't be sad though. <laughs> because baby... Somebody asks, what's your favorite thing about yourself? Meaning, if it's something you will never change, what would it be? <sighs> what's my favorite thing about myself and what would I never change? I would say, I would say my personality. I would say my personality. I feel like I'm so, I'm, I'm so outgoing. And I'm so fun to be around and I'm true to myself and I'm true and loyal to other people for sure. So I just feel like I wouldn't change my personality. Like people love me for who I am. People love being around me for who I am. And like I said, I'm true to myself. I don't have to step out of myself or step out of character to impress you, you, you and you. I don't have to uh, lie or overdo my part to impress nobody. I'm just not going to overstep my boundaries or do nothing to impress nobody. If you don't like Xavier for Xavier, then skedaddle. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, this hookah is hitting hard. I feel it. <laughs> okay, question. Have you and Block tried to go have you and Block tried going to marriage counseling sessions? No, we haven't. I think I said that before. But no, we haven't tried counseling. Now, I would say if we come back together, if we was ever come back together, I would do counseling. I just feel like, I just feel like at first I didn't, I didn't consider counseling because he told me exactly what he wanted. You feel what I'm saying? So I was like, why do I need to go to counseling? I thought people go to counseling to, cause they don't know what they want or you know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought people go to counseling because they didn't know what they want or they didn't know what's going on in the relationship. He knew exactly what he wanted and he told me exactly what he wanted. And all I did was fulfill his wishes per usual. If you say you want to be alone, okay, you could be alone. If you say you, you want to separate, okay, we can separate. Like, why do I need to go to counseling for him to, t if he already told me exactly what he wanted? Y'all get what I'm saying? That's how I looked at it. But if we ever come to the decision, okay, we want to be together, then I'd be like, okay, let's go to counseling and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But if right now he say he, he want to be by himself, he want to try new things, he want to separate, then he has the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like ain't no need to go to counseling. What he going to tell the counselor? I just want to be by myself. I just want to separate. Okay, he told me that already. We just wasted $150 an hour for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? But correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, in the comments, for sure. Somebody said, what's a hard reality check you realized during slash since your, during since your separation? First of all, who is that? Pretty and lit. That, that's too much of a deep question. <laughs> Let me repeat it. She said, what's a hard reality check you realized during your separation? Whew. 
That is a deep question. Whoa, I wasn't ready for that. Is, is, I'm in a counseling session right now. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all, this flavor is so nasty. I should be a watermelon. What's a hard reality check? I would say, I would say the hardest reality check was, I would say the world don't revolve around me. And y'all know that's hard to say, cause it do. <laughs> but no, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The hardest reality check, I feel like I had to accept was the world do not revolve around you, Xavier. You know, in my relationship, you know, cause everywhere else they do. You know what I'm saying? But in my relationship, everything is not about you. You know? <laughs> like this this question, when I first read this question, I got teary eyed. Like y'all see me getting teary eyed right now because that question, when I first read it, y'all, I got this same emotion because I'm getting teary eyed right now. But I feel like that's the heart, that's, that's the reality check that I check myself like. The world doesn't revolve around you, Xavier. Everything don't have to go your way. Yet. Oh, <laughs> y'all are sick. Like this is this. Y'all, y'all come cancel me. Y'all come cancel us, okay? Since y'all know every, since you know everything. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I just feel like my hardest reality check was. Everything don't, the world don't revolve around Xavier. Everything don't got to go Xavier way. Everything not about you. Stop taking everything personal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it, it, take, it, take, it takes a lot for you to realize that. You know what I'm saying? And it takes a strong person to open up and, and fucking say it. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I've been telling y'all, I've been working on myself. And I know... What's going on with myself? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, pretty and lit. Since you know it all. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, let me get some wine. Y'all done got me emotional. No, y'all, that, that question really, that question really. Because it, it's giving you a fucking reality check, you know, and, and we don't like it, you know. And all honesty, us as people and us as women especially, we don't like to be checked and we don't like no being reality check. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Topic. Somebody said topic. Future positive plans for you, for your kids. Do you plan on moving when Lisa? How much better uh, ATL than in the trenches? Do you feel like you made a good choice? Yes. I, will, I feel like I will never. I always say never, but I always go back and say I will never say never. But I would never move back to Chicago unless I'm really, really, really down bad that I have to move back to my mama house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't pay my... It got to be I can't pay my rent. I can't take care of my kids. I can't pay my bills. It really has to be that for me to move back to Chicago. Like, Chicago is cool and all. It's a beautiful city. But, I honestly, it's nothing to do in Chicago. Like, I love it here. Um, I love it here and... Atlanta because I feel like it's always something to do. It's always a carnival. It's always a festival. It's always uh, some, something for the kids. It's, it's, it's just like always something. And it's family oriented. And um, my kids can walk out and enjoy um, outside in life. And here in ATL you get a bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? In Chicago like I know somebody who's paying $2,000 for a two bedroom apartment and and kids can't even go outside and play. You know what I'm saying? Uh ain't got no pool and it, it, it's nothing to do. Let's just be honest, it's nothing to do. And like ATL, I pay up to the close to that for rent and I got a two bedroom. My baby got a pool, my baby got a gym, my baby got a uh a movie theater, my baby got you know she she can go outside and play right now. I can watch over my balcony. It's just like you get a bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like it's more safe. For my kids, hey, everything right now is about my kids. Period. They safety, they um, 
surroundings, they life, everything right now is about my kids. So I feel like I love ATL and it's family oriented and I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I love Atlanta. Like I love Atlanta. Like I do. Period. I don't want to go back to Chicago. I don't. Okay. Somebody said topic. Now that you moved on with your life, is you going to find a job to better yourself? Uh, wait. What? <laughs> she said, are you going to find a job to better yourself? Baby, I am a job. Okay, you ain't hear what JT said? I don't work job. I am a job. You don't like it, baby. Take a ice, suck it, slide. Whatever she said. <laughs> okay, baby. I am the job. No. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do you deal with your emotions and feelings during this process of separation from big homie, being a mother, still working, and dealing with your own trials of life? Um, what was the question though? How do I handle, how do I deal with my emotions and feelings? Um, I don't know. I just go, I just do what I gotta do. That's it. I know a lot of people, uh, and also another thing about me, if y'all don't know, I'm not a complainer. I don't complain. I don't complain. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's ha it has to be done. Just do it. Like, I know it's life. Life be life here. We have our days. Everybody, especially women, we emotional. We have all these emotions and all this. But at the end of the day, you have to do it. And that's how I deal with shit. Like, it, like what you complaining for? You're going to sit here and complain. It ain't shit getting done. Get the shit done and move on. <laughs> that's how that's how you know shit need done for the kids. Do what that you need to do for the kids. Stuff need to be done in a relationship, do what you need to do to relationships. And when I do get emotional and feel like I one of my lazy days or one of them days, I just take time for myself. I stay to myself, uh send the kids what they did or bad they way. And I just take some time for myself. Like, I'm, I'm a really strong person, y'all. I don't know what it is about me. I'm really... My family... A lot of, a lot of people tell y'all back about Xavier. I am a strong person. I'm strong, like... I am a strong person. <laughs> so, I don't really... I let people do them. I don't drag things. I don't... It's just... It's just like that for me. It's just... I'm an old, oh, okay, type of person. Like... I just handle my shit. That's it. That's it. And I think that's and I think that's better. Keeping yourself busy. You know what I'm saying? Then you won't have so many emotions and so many thoughts. And as long as you stay on the go, keep moving. Keep going. You don't got time to think. You don't got time to be emotional. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that's all I've been about lately. It's just on the go. Y'all be seeing me, especially follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, y'all. Y'all will see if y'all watch my story. I just be trying to be on the go. Keep keep myself busy. If it's doing stuff with this house, whatever it is, just stay in my head. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And I hope this helping somebody. Like, if you feel like you stuck, you in your head, you emotional, keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy. Even if you won't get the means and stuff to, to do things, go for a walk. Go for a run. Um... Do something, do something, clean out kitchen cabinet, like do something that you've been wanting to do for so long that you like, okay, let me do this to get my man out. So like if you clean out your closet, clean out the refrigerator, like I found myself doing all type of stuff. Like if it ain't enough for me to do, I'm like, oh, I could clean out my refrigerator. My refrigerator need clean. Let me clean out my car. Like, you know, when I did my birthday vlog, people, uh, a lot of people said, you want to get your car clean? Yeah, because it's enough for me to do. Let me go get my car clean. Let me go get a facial, you know? Let me go walk. Let me jog. Let me paint something. Let me write. Let me read. You, it's a lot you can do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I just I just be going, y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh, in your heart, are you done with Block, even, even though he's your kid's father? Am I done with him? Are you done with blocks? Are you really done with him? Hmm. I would say no. 
I know y'all be like, Xavier, you ain't standing on business. <laughs> What's going on with your living room update? Okay, y'all, so my living room, the only thing I did with the living room was the TV stand that I showed y'all and my TV that I bought. Coming up, what I'm gonna do is get my TV mounted and I'm gonna look for a rug. With the sofa, with the couch, y'all, I want a sectional. And this wall right here is so big and it's still curved around that way because it's a window right here. So my front row is like a wall, then it curves. You know, well, it don't curve, but it's a wall and it's a wall here too. So that's why I want a sectional. And it's a big area and y'all gotta find the right sectional. You know what I'm saying? But I think my next steps with my living room is I'm gonna get my TV mounted. I, I need my TV mounted because my kids keep touching the TV. So it can't stay on the TV stand. It needs to be up. I need to get my TV mounted and I'm gonna go find me a rug. That's hard too. Y'all know rugs. You don't want no old dainty rug, no old people rug. No shade to my old people, but y'all know what I'm saying. You don't want no old people rug, and you want a. I want a nice modern rug. So that's what I got going on with my living room so far, y'all. I know y'all ready for me to start back decorating, but like I told y'all, that took a toll. Um, doing my house took a toll on me because y'all, I got so to the point where. When I was decorating this house, I was just like, I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it. And it was draining me. And I'm like, I need to slow down. You get what I'm saying? Because I was just like on the go, on the go. And when I wasn't decorating the house, it was just like I couldn't sleep or something. Because it was like, I feel like it has to be done or I have to, my house has to be, girl, relax. Okay, what I'm saying? Shit takes time. Long story short. <laughs> yeah, I see Long story short, shit takes time. And that's what I'm saying. Like I had it in my head, like, oh, I gotta finish my house or I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, girl, relax, relax, okay? So I had to really take a break from doing this house. And, and, and it's just like to get out and enjoy myself. You know, I was just so, y'all seen me, I'm just stuck in here doing shit to the house. Like, girl, go outside. The house is gonna get done. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get too caught up. Trips you want to take this summer out the country, maybe. Yes, I want to go back to Jamaica. Y'all know I've been to Jamaica three times. I love Jamaica. I love Jamaica so bad. I've been to Jamaica three times. The last time I went on Mother's Day, I couldn't enjoy myself because I was pregnant with Papa. <laughs> I was pregnant with Papa. I was throwing up everywhere. So I didn't enjoy my Jamaica trip. But I definitely want to go back to Jamaica. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Miami. Um... And I want to go back to Houston. So I know I'll probably do a Houston or Miami trip in May. And then I might go overseas like August during that time when the season slow down. August, September, October, one of those, I'm going to go overseas. Okay, somebody said, what's the meaning behind your tattoos? What's the meaning behind your tattoos and what inspired you to get them? I like these questions. Y'all ain't asking too much about... Is we still hunching? Do you miss become black? Did he cheat? I like these questions. Okay, look at y'all. Look at my twins. Okay, y'all. So this tattoo right here, it say Red and Lala. These are my two little sisters. My mom has four kids. She has my oldest brother, me, then Red, then Lala. Lala's the baby. So I got my two sisters named Red and Lala. They're my twins. We be vibing. They're my girls. It's only us. You know what I'm saying? I love them. I love my brother too, but you know, this is a sister. It's a sister thing. So it's just me and my two sisters. Talk to them every day. We curse each other out every day. They get on my nerves every day, but we love each other. Um, on this arm, I got some flowers with Zendaya name. Y'all know, I don't even got to explain that. Y'all know the vibes. So this Zendaya name with some flowers. Right here, I have this tattoo say gorgeous. I just want to remind myself that I'm gorgeous, you know, I'm beautiful, and you know, I'm that girl. So I got gorgeous with some, uh, with a bow, some stars, and some lip gloss. Y'all know I love me some lip gloss. I'm girly. And then I got a heart right here. Could y'all see this? I got a heart in between my chest that everybody be asking about. Like, what made you get that? Um, this heart, uh, I'm a sweetheart. 
heart. You know what I'm saying? And it, it wasn't no other place to put it but right here. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this tattoo, but besides that, I'm a sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? And this, y'all won't believe this tattoo give me a lot of motion. <laughs> and what I mean by motion is like, guys be like, I like that tattoo. You know what I'm saying? What, V? I need to here. What, y'all? Oh my God. Close the door. So y'all, this tattoo, guys be like, you know, they, I like that tattoo or what that tattoo mean or especially when I wear like shirts like this and you know, you able to see it. You know, this tattoo gives me a lot of clout. <laughs> but y'all, I feel like this one is like, I'm a sweetheart and you know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like it was no other place to put it. This this is beautiful. This is this is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then I have, y'all seen me cover, I had Darnell name right here, but I covered it up, as y'all can see, with some flowers and butterflies. Uh, yeah, this is a cover up, it was Darnell name. <laughs> uh, and on my thigh, I got 1995, because that's the year I was born, and that's all the tattoos I have. Uh, did y'all ever see my thigh tattoo? I'm going to post a picture. Y'all was talking about that tattoo, it just say 1995. Like, wrote in lipstick. I really like that tattoo, too. It's on my thigh, and it's big, and it's pretty. I feel like I really like that tattoo. So, like I said, living in Chicago, what you miss about it, what would you change about it? Uh, Chicago, I miss the food. I miss being with my family. That dude still live in Chicago. Um, what I would change about Chicago is definitely just the violence and putting more things into Chicago. Like, every time they open the club, they're taking the club away. Every time they open something for the kids, they got to take it away. It's just stuff come and go in Chicago. It come and go. It come and go. Like, they need to start putting back into Chicago. Like, picnics, the block club party, even though I know... It might not never happen, but y'all remember we used to have a block club party. We used to be able to barbecue in the park in Chicago. We used to, we used to run the street with no hezzo, no hesitation. Now, you know, your kids can't even ride the bike up and down the block. And it's just crazy. I would definitely change, like, the violence. You know what I'm saying? But Chicago is Chicago, I guess. Have you ever had a spiritual experience? I don't think so. I didn't have my spiritual experience yet. Uh, what is the quickest way someone can lose your trust? Lying. Like, what did you lie for? Like, who is me to, for you to lie to? Like, why, why are you lying? What you lying for? What is one place you've always dreamed of going? Greece. I want to go to Greece. I just want to see the water so blue. <laughs> and I want to just be on one of those villas by yourself and relax i just i just i don't even want to go touring i don't want i just want to go on go on to greece on a villa in the, on the beach and i just want to wear a robe and walk out the balcony and just look y'all ever picture something like i'm picturing myself in that position right now y'all ever picture yourself like yeah. <laughs> is it easy for you to accept help from people? No, it's not. It's not. If money were no object, what's the first thing you would buy? A house. <laughs> a house and a car. That's the first thing I buy. I buy, yeah, I buy a house. I buy a couple houses. I put people, I put my people and some houses, you know, and I buy a couple cars. So somebody could always have somewhere to stay. Somebody kid could always have somewhere to stay and always have a ride to from and from work because I know how it is to not have nowhere to stay and not have a ride nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I really, really experienced not having nowhere to stay in, not having a car. That's the worst experience ever. Like and I think that's what, let me tell y'all something. I'm always in my car. I don't know if y'all noticed that. And then I had to think to myself, like, one day it was like, I know why I'm always in my car because I never had a car. 
Don't get me wrong, I had a few cars, but I'm talking about the time I didn't have a car and I had to depend on people. That was one of the most traumatic things for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, help me. You know what I'm saying? And then when people, when you when you look at how people really don't want to help you when you down, you just be like, that shit is traumatic. You just be like, damn, like, you got a car. Like, take me. I ain't begging. I just, let me, take me to work. You know what I'm saying? So, I will always have a car. I don't care if I have nothing else. Me and my kids gonna have a roof over our head and we're gonna have a car. Period. Are you are you really ready for a divorce or do you still believe there's a chance to save your marriage? I believe it's a chance to save my marriage. And somebody else asked me, I skipped the question, but I'm gonna I'm say it. Somebody was like, did I, did I um, file the divorce papers? Now let me tell y'all about that. I filled out the whole form. I filled out the whole form and then I was just like, I, I, I packed it up and I put it in the safe. I put it in the safe because I just feel like it's still a chance, you know, cause it, it's no doubt, it's no doubt about he don't love me. It's no doubt about it. I don't love him. And it's no doubt he miss, he don't miss me. And it's no doubt that I don't miss him sometimes. <laughs> no, heavy on the sometimes though, but it's no doubt about it. So, y'all, I filled out the whole form. All them papers, I think it was like 40 some papers. Y'all filled out the whole divorce packet. And I just put it in the safe. And, and if it happens, I told myself, just be patient. Be patient, relax, chill, go with the flow for now. Because if it happens, it will happen. And if it don't, it don't. And, and like everything else, I'm telling y'all with me, I get feelings. And I know it's other people in the world like this. I always get a feeling when it's the right time. I always get a feeling when it's the right time. I, I be like like when I like when I moved out, it was the right time. And and people people don't understand it because y'all not in my shoes, but y'all, it was the right time. I my I always get this feeling when it's the right time for me to do something. It was the right time for me to move out. It and when I filled out them papers. It's not the right time to foul. It's not the right time to foul. I would know and feel my mind, my body, my soul would tell me, go do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And right now, it's not the time. Period. How do you feel about the Megan and Nicki Minaj diss track? <laughs> Lying on your dead mama. Like, oh, no, wait. God forgive me. <laughs> No, I I like both diss tracks. I love when the girls get in the get in the booth. Get in the booth. Like this was rap this was rap up. Y'all seen Pop and Biggie. Y'all see Chris Brown and Quavo. Like this this is this is rap. Like and nobody said nothing about it when Chris Brown just said when take off that everybody wanted it to be you talking to Quavo. Ain't, ain't nobody said nothing about that. But when Nikki said, lying on your dead mama, lying on your dead, just because she was a female. I feel like just because she was a female and she's Nicki Minaj, they put all that pressure on her. But ain't nobody putting pressure on Chris Brown when he just said, when take off that, everybody wished it was you, Quavo. Like, where's the same energy? You know what I'm saying? So, get in the booth. This is rap, okay? This is rap. Get in the booth. Let them spit what they spit and whatever they say, they say. Like I liked it both this records, but I really, really liked it. I feel like I really, really liked it. Nikki's more because she made it more fun and funny. <laughs> she said, "Get up on your good foot." <laughs> like that lady is insane. <laughs> she said, "Get up on your good foot." I call her bitch. <laughs> Y'all like okay. I don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't got nothing to do with that. Somebody said this is the last question. Somebody said being a baby mama. Baby mama. B A M A M A 
This goes out to all my baby mamas. I got love for all my baby mamas. B A B Y M A. I got love for all my baby mamas. I'm a baby mama. You a baby mama. She a baby mama. Everybody in this world a baby mama. You married, you separated, you divorced, or what? You in a relationship, you still a baby mama. Somebody made you a baby mama. You are a baby mama. I'm a baby mama. Everybody a baby mama. It's, it's none, it's, I ain't ashamed of the game. The play has changed, but the game, y'all know the rest, remain the same, okay? <laughs> y'all, so this is this little life update, y'all. I'm going through my little trials and tribulations right now, like with my uh, moodiness. Y'all been so moody. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. All I've been doing is just being to myself a little bit, being out of people's way because I know I'm moody. You know, the best, being the best you can be, um, still making the kids happy, still doing what I need to do, period. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get over it, y'all. I honestly don't know what it is. I don't know what swift over me. It's like after my birthday weekend, at first I was like feeling tired. I was feeling tired. I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. Was it the liquor? Did I do too much? Did I party too much? But then it was just like, I went from being tired to being moody to being spicy. You know what I'm saying? Like heated. Like, am I okay, Xavier? You okay? Like, you okay? <laughs> so, y'all, I'm coming out of it though. Like, as y'all can see, I'm in a better place. I'm really coming out of it. Um, Z is here. <laughs> Z sneaking out the room. I know y'all seen her sneak past a couple times. You want to say hey? Hey. <laughs> what you trying to get a snack? Cookies. Y'all. Yeah. Get two cookies, Z. Y'all, I really didn't hit this hookah as much because like I told y'all, I don't like this flavor. I don't like this flavor. I should be a watermelon. That apple flavor is a no-no. No, no. How many cookies in there? Is it still a whole row? Because I know you've been sneaking them. Nope, not a whole row. Yes, a whole row. It's a whole row? Yeah, Z need to get her hair braided. She been in and out the pool. I know this summer, she gonna be tacky about the head because she gonna, you gonna be in the pool every day, ain't you? Hmm? You gonna be in the pool every day, ain't you? Hmm? When you get out of school. Y'all, time is going fast. These kids gonna be out of school. Z get out of school May 22nd. That's a couple days. <laughs> And she already knows she's going to be in that pool every day. And who's going to keep getting her braid, fresh braids for her to... Mm -mm. She's going to get her hair in some knot list probably every three weeks. Because I'm not getting her no fresh braids every day so she could go, go in and out the pool. <laughs> yeah, Z getting so big. I call her Bigfoot. Y'all, Z is in a three. Get up on your good foot. <laughs> you was in a three, girl. You got big feet like your mommy. Y'all, Z is getting so big, so smart. Also smart, better mouth. Yeah. Y'all, y'all here? Y'all here talking about some girl? <laughs> What's that dance called? No. The gritty. The gritty. Mm -hmm. She over here doing the gritty. <laughs> Y'all, she gets so tall and so big. <laughs> okay y'all so this is this video i hope y'all enjoyed it i love y'all thank y'all for always checking up on me and supporting me make sure y'all follow me on instagram and on facebook um like subscribe turn on that post notification bell so you know when Vision. it's on your screen and i'm out <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.